Welcome back to Babes in the Woods, an original comedic mystery adventure on Paris Underground Radio. Ah, church bells. What could be more comforting on a Sunday morning? Only, where is the church? And who's ringing those bells? Joanne braves this mystery, while Britt is left to discover another on her own. And now, Episode 4, Church Bells. Britt, you awake? Yeah, I'm up. How'd you sleep? I'm not sure I slept at all. This floor is so uneven, and my ankle is killing me. Thank God for your minor blanket, or we would have frozen to death. Mylar. What? It's a Mylar blanket. Whatever. It's super loud every time you move. At least it's warm. Yeah. Let me see your ankle. Oh, wow. Jesus. It's the size of a basketball. What do you know about basketballs? Hey, I know things. I've seen a sweaty man run around and throw a ball at a hoop a time or two. What was that? Sounds like a bell. What would a bell be doing in the middle of the wilderness? No idea. Let me check. Oh my god, there are other buildings. It's like a little town or something. Do you think there are people around? It is Sunday, isn't it? Maybe there are people at the church who can help us. Maybe. I'll go take a look. Is it still rainy? Nope, it's beautiful out. The sun is up and everything. Want to come see? Ow, no. I'd better just wait here. See if you can bring some help and some food. I'm starving. Oh, I completely forgot. I brought two energy bars. Oh my god, I love you. Almost out of water, though. I'll bring my water bottle and see if I can find any fresh water. Stupid diet, Dr. Pepper. Okay, I'm heading out. Stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Couldn't if I wanted to. Come on, phone. Just one bar. Just one itty bitty super de duper tiny little bar. Please. Just one tiny little bar that connects us to the world's best rescue service slash caterers slash ankle bandager slash masseur. Ugh. Figures. Why did they make mirrors like this in the olden days? Or did my face actually become wiggly? Why am I so pale? You know what would fix this? Just a smidge of 2021 limited edition fiery siren Instagloss with 24 hour supers day. <laughs> <sighs> Must preserve this rustic chic look for posterity. Little House on the Prairie meets Bates Motel meets Broken Ankle. Thank God there isn't a shower in this place. Everyone knows that's how the blonde goes first. This place is kind of creepy. They're not big on interior lighting now, are they? I wonder how old this place is. Like a hundred years? Did they have interior lighting a hundred years ago? And why isn't there any furniture? I mean, even like a little stool here or there could zhuzh it up. Weren't oldie timers like super into gingham and shit? I feel like some nice gingham curtains would do a lot to brighten up this little space. If I've learned anything from HGTV, it's that small spaces can hold a lot of light and a lot of color. You don't have to lean into those gloomy abandoned cliches, do you now, cabin? I mean, seriously, newspapers over the windows? Let's get rid of these serial killer vibes. Hmm. 
the Somethingville Courier, July 25, 1902. Citizens band together to combat threat. Sheriff W.H. Crowley calls upon all able-bodied men to meet at the tower tomorrow morning, July 26th at sunrise. After months of unexplained occurrences... Oh, I can't read it. The sun must have faded it. Forest into the women and children are advised to disappearances. Huh. Is there more? George Strop loses arm in mining mishap. Four more prisoners escape from jail. Slide victim found. Jesus! Doesn't anything nice ever happen here? Anyway, it's not so bad in here with a little light. I wonder if I can see Joanne. Oh, it is a little town. A little bridge. There must be a stream. Everything's overgrown, though. There's not much for landscaping. One, two, three. Three cabins. And... Maybe that's a church? I hope it's a church. What if it is a church and all the churchgoers are ghosts of like the miners who died here because of Sheriff Blah Blah in 1902? What if they get Joanne and she turns into zombie Joanne? We'll be right back with Babes in the Woods after a word from our sponsors. If I ask you what it's like to be a Parisian writer... What do you imagine? Drinking noisette after noisette in a noisy cafe? Jotting down lines in your bedside journal while your lover fetches you fresh croissant? Stumbling down the streets overflowing with prose and red wine like Hemingway? Well, now's your chance to find out. My name is Jennifer Garrity, and I'm host of the Story Time in Paris podcast. In each episode, I chat with a writer with a French connection. The twist? The questions come from you, the writer's biggest fans and followers. Then our beloved writers will read us an excerpt from their books. So cozy up with a noisette, a croissant, or whatever's your pleasure, and settle in for Storytime in Paris on Paris Underground Radio. And now, back to Babes in the Woods. Okay, I'm heading out. Stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Couldn't if I wanted to. Why does this always happen to me? Why can't a hike just be a simple hike? It's my birthday, for Christ's sake. No ribs, no birthday cake, no presents. I didn't even get to sleep in an actual bed. What are the chances that when I knock on this door, all my friends will jump out for the world's most elaborate surprise party? Hello? Is anybody home? Hello? Surprise! I guess not. Oh, this cabin's even dustier than ours. Well, they're probably not at church. Fingers crossed someone else is. I don't hear any preaching. I don't think anyone's been in here in years. Is that the altar? Holy shit! Oops. I mean, that's a cairn. Why is there a cairn on the altar? A cairn and one fresh wild rose. Oh, the belfry's right over the altar. Ew, that... 
bell is drenched with cobwebs. How did it ring if there's no one here and it's covered in cobwebs? Okay, that's enough for me. I'm getting out of here. Shit! The wind! It's the wind. It's just the wind. Church bells! Oh, thank God. Joanne must have told them we're here. Oh my God, I cannot wait to go home and shower and eat. And eat in the shower. My hero! (sighs) So, where are they? There's no one here. What do you mean there's no one here? The whole town is abandoned. There was no one in the church. The pews were rotting and it was filled with cobwebs. So who rung the bell? Right. And not only that, you'll never guess what I found on the altar. You went up to the altar? Yep. And on it was a cairn. What? I know. And where did that flower come from? What flower? The pink one in your hair? Oh my god. It's a wild rose from the altar. Why did you put it in your hair? I didn't. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Stay tuned for episode five, Survival Mode. Thank you for listening to Babes in the Woods. Babes in the Woods is written by Barbara M. Bedis and Jennifer Fox Garrity. The part of Joanne is played by Sion Dason. The part of Britt is played by Jennifer Fox Garrity. Our theme music is Despite the Traffic by Wes Hutchinson. Babes in the Woods is edited by Jennifer Fox Garrity and produced by Paris Underground Radio. If you like our show, please subscribe, rate, review, and tell your friends. It really helps. For more on this show and shows like it, please go to parisundergroundradio.com. Thank you for listening.